Today marks a somber anniversary. Six years ago, a fire swept through a home in the Carroll County town of Flora, killing four young girls. They were sisters, ages 5 to 11. Their names were Keani Welsh, Carrie L. McDonald, Kiara Phillips, and Kiana Davis. Their mother survived and six years later is still pushing for answers. That fire was ruled in arson, but Indiana State Police haven't made any arrests and they've shared very few updates on the case. In the Delphi double homicide investigation, law enforcement has shared with the public and news outlets a lot of information through, through the years, including the sketches we showed you earlier, video, even audio of a suspect's voice. But in the Flora case, there have been no disclosures. As Chief Investigator Steve Brown explains, law enforcement is, say is saying almost nothing about this fire. I don't want to be around people. Galen Rose lives in Northern California now. To be honest with you, my life is not exciting like it used to be. I just literally work, work all day from four or five in the morning until two, three. I really don't do anything with my life at this point right now. How do you move on, even six years later, after this? I heard kids screaming and the mom screaming. Fire swept through Rose's home in Florida. She got out. Her daughters didn't. The mom was hollering for the children and they were hollering back for her. We had to sit back and watch and not be able to do anything. Killed were 11-year-old Kiana Davis, 9-year-old Kiara Phillips, 7-year-old Carrie L. McDonald, and Kiani Welsh, age 5. The fire was classified as an arson. Do you have any thoughts about how this happened or who might be responsible? Nope. I would never think a person would want to set me on fire. To be honest, Mr. Steve, it's horrible people out there. And six years later, the people, or person responsible for setting the fire not brought to justice yet what's changed in the last six years not a lot have a look at the house it's still boarded up evidence of the fire still visible when we had a look up on the porch we found plastic bins full of stuffed animals dolls candles and crosses they once made up a makeshift memorial in front of the house now covered with years of dust and grime. Now, state police insist that this arson case is a priority for them. You will find an appeal for tips on the homepage of their website. But law enforcement really doesn't want to talk about this case much. We wanted to speak with Carroll County Deputy Drew Yoder. There were four little girls inside the residence that were needing our help. He was hospitalized for weeks after he ran into the burning home in a failed attempt to rescue the girls. Sheriff Tobe Lesenby said we couldn't talk with Yoder. The sheriff also nixed an interview with the Flora fire chief. We asked the state police for a chance to speak with their lead investigator on this case. And again, no. But my colleague Max Lewis in a recent interview got out of the state police superintendent about the Flora fire investigation this cryptic comment. There's a couple things, pieces that we need, and those that know what those pieces are know what I mean. Uh, so I'll leave it at that. Please understand, police don't have to talk with me or any other reporter ever. I think it's smart for law enforcement to communicate with news organizations, but they don't have to. But in this case, you'd think at the very least, they'd be giving updates to Galen Rose. When was the last time you talked to an investigator? Some years, I'm going to say. Years, plural? Yes. I sometimes think that the longer that it goes on and on, the lesser that they think about it. And the, the more they can just, you know, you know, sweep it under the rug. So why isn't law enforcement talking about the Flora fire? I'm not a cop, and I'm no mind reader. But here are just a couple of possibilities. There may be a prime suspect, but there's not enough evidence to make an arrest. Or there isn't any true suspect, and hopes are pinned on a potential witness coming forward. Whatever it is, the differences in how law enforcement has communicated to the public about the Delphi and Flora cases could not be more different. Now, if you have any information that may help solve this case, you are asked to call this number, 800-382-462. You do not have to give your name to provide information.
Steve Brown, Fox 59 investigates.